Hello, and thank you for watching this regional forecast update for the Canadian Prairie. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with Nutrient Ag Solutions. Well, I'm going to check out the satellite picture here first on Friday morning, and we have got a cold Arctic air mass coming out of the Canadian Prairie and then spilling into the northern plains of the United States, making it all the way down to my backyard in the Midwest of the U.S., where the temperature here just dropped 20 degrees over the last two hours here as this cold front makes its way in. Temperatures across the prairie, anywhere from minus 5 to minus 11, but you can find some minus 15, almost minus 20 degree readings as you hug the border between Saskatchewan and Montana. Some of the coldest air in North America right now locked in across southern portions of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and then down into the, the northern plains of the United States. The radar picture is pretty quiet today, maybe a few flurries uh, kind of near Winnipeg, just north of there, uh, and then also some very light flurries possible along and south of the Calgary to Medicine Hat area. We've got a pretty big storm system sneaking out of British Columbia and then off to the south of the prairie as we head through the next 24 to 48 hours. Now the temperature anomaly forecast over the next five days, that's what you see on the left. On the right side, we've got the ensemble snowfall forecast through Wednesday. Again, much of the coldest air in North America confined to uh, portions of the northern plains and southern portions of Alberta and Saskatchewan. That's where temperatures are anywhere from 5 to 15 degrees Celsius cooler than they should be this time of year. And then on the right side, we have the ensemble snowfall forecast. We've got that storm sneaking out of British Columbia right now. It'll drop a little light snow on southern portions of Alberta before sneaking off into Montana and then eventually across the northern and central plains of the United States. This swath up here to the north, this one makes its way in during the uh, middle part of the coming week. Right now, it looks like it wants to dump the heaviest snow along and north of Highway 16. So for folks across southeastern Alberta into southern Saskatchewan, let me change my color here, uh, in southern Manitoba, uh, this looks to be uh, like the, a little void, a little uh, gap in the heavier snow. So uh, over the next 48 hours, we're going to drop some snow here across southern Alberta into the northern plains. And then as we get into next week, kind of watching along and north of Highway 16, folks in between, just plain cold with potential for light snow, but not really looking at any, any sort of real uh, significant accumulation, at least over the next five days. Now, the upper level pattern is very bunched up. We've got this big ridge in the Gulf of Alaska. Here's our big trough that digs in across western Canada and the central U.S. We've got another ridge here across uh, uh, eastern Canada and the northeast, the North Atlantic. Here's where we have all the cold air spilling in behind that cold front. Let me take all of my beautiful drawings off of there and we'll put this into motion. I'll show you what we're looking at. Now, I mentioned this in my last video. What's today? Friday. So that would have been Wednesday morning. I mentioned uh, or I, I advertised or advised against uh, buying into any potential long lasting warm up here and my story is not changing and let me tell you why. So here comes our trough. This is the one that we've been watching, the one that we've been you know, talking about bringing the bitterly cold air into the region. We're going to watch this dive in across the central Rockies and then eventually get cut off across the southwest US. Here we go. This is the, just as advertised. And then we've got this little bit of ridging, a little ridging on the back side of this trough that starts to make its way into Western Canada, first in British Columbia uh, and then into portions of Alberta. But the, the large scale pattern on the back side here, the large scale pattern doesn't change. Uh, so we're going to trend back towards troughing over the, uh, the Canadian prairie uh, as we head deeper into the end of the week. So we get a little bit of ridging on the backside. That could bring our temperatures back to more seasonally appropriate levels. But here you see we're building another trough across western Canada, bringing that in across the prairies as we get into next weekend. So we'll take a look at the 10-day temperature trends as we always do at the end of this video. Uh, and again, I'm going to point out here that already the temperatures are beginning to scale back a few degrees as we get to next weekend. As the models start to uh, lose their bias, they want to bring us back to more seasonally appropriate temperatures. But uh, unfortunately, this is the pattern really um, that we're seeing as we head into the beginning of winter here. So, you know, we'll be looking for, for you know, any sort of subtle changes here. But by and large, unfortunately for you in the prairie, uh, it's probably going to be a cool start to uh, fall and a cool start to the winter here as we get shots of cold air uh, over the next few weeks. So here's the jet stream wind speeds at 500 millibars. Let's go back uh, and get started with the story again. Here's the first wave that's making way through uh, the, the northern plains into the Great Lakes of the U.S. That's dragging the first shot of cold air through the region. This is the next trough then that brings itself down the Rockies and eventually cuts off across the southwest U.S. So let's watch this. This is Saturday, taking it into Sunday. 
and then getting into Monday. So now this low is cutting itself off across the southwestern U.S. We almost get this little wave breaking event. That's how we get some ridging uh, moving into the prairie here as that trough cuts itself off. But additional troughs are going to come diving out of here this is just the pattern we're going to see another reinforcing shot of cooler air try to make its way in here as we get into uh, next weekend so what happens with the precipitation forecast i mentioned we've got two systems that we're really watching over the next five days the first of which making its way in right now across southern british columbia and then far southern alberta dropping a little light coating of snow in uh in that area as we head through the end of today into tonight and tomorrow morning as the sun comes up on Saturday morning, may have some light snow falling in Calgary, probably some light snow falling down in Medicine Hat across southern Alberta, and maybe even some light snow falling in far southwestern Saskatchewan. Additionally, some very light flurries possible north of Highway 16 through Saskatchewan and Alberta. <clears throat> As we take it deeper into the weekend, we'll cool off, cool off, we'll quiet down. We will continue to be very cold uh, with high pressure coming in on the backside here. That'll probably bring an end to the snow across the prairie. That'll be quiet then until we get into early next week. We'll see our next wave start to make its way in, our next upper level disturbance. This one starts to emerge from the Rockies here as we get into Monday night into Tuesday. And this is one that could uh, bring some snow. Again, right now it looks like it wants to dump the heaviest along in north of Highway 16 as it makes its way in. A little bit of warmer air coming in here, perhaps leading to some rain across southern Alberta. We'll talk about the details on this one again. It comes in on Tuesday into Wednesday, or at least late Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll have another opportunity to talk on Monday morning about the specifics here. But those are our two systems. The first one here over the next 24 hours making its way off to the south. And then the next one comes in early next work week probably going to be north of Highway 16 with its accumulating snow swath. So we'll look at the probabilistic maps here from the European Ensemble. On the left, we're looking at the probability of picking up three inches or more of snow between now and Wednesday evening. Here is our system over the next 24 to 48 hours. This is the corridor that we're watching as we get into late Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday with the potential for some accumulating snow again in the Edmonton area and then off to the uh, east southeast generally along and north of highway 16 we'll talk about some changes here potentially uh, with that forecast any that do occur over the weekend once we talk again on monday morning one last look at the upper level pattern again the big ridge the big trough and the big ridge on the other end a lot of cold air coming in on the back side of this trough as this next wave cuts itself off across the southwest U.S., we get a little bit of ridging on the backside across western portions of the prairie. There it is right there, uh, but it does not last long. Again, trough wading across the Gulf of Alaska does start to make its way in here as we get into the weekend. Uh, and so here are your 10-day temperature uh, forecasts here. Again, we get the warm-up. That's not what I've been, uh, you know, it's not that we won't warm up. My, my um, message as to uh, be wary, I'm searching for a certain word here and I still haven't found it, uh, but use caution against buying into any sort of long-term uh, or, or major warm-up here that's advertised because uh, if you go back and look at the Wednesday forecast, I almost put them in here side by side to compare it, but go back and look at the Wednesday forecast. Uh, and in Calgary, it had temperatures warming back up, hovering up around five, six, seven degrees through the weekend. Well, already chopping a few degrees off of that. Now we're talking about a high of two degrees on Saturday next weekend instead of a high of around five or six degrees. Same thing in Edmonton. We do warm up, but it lasts maybe a day or two before we're cooling right back down as that next trough starts to build its way in. So rather than warming up and staying there, we likely cool back off. It's going to be a cool start to the fall. It's going to be, a, well, not start to the fall. It'll be a cool uh, fall and likely a cool start to the, uh, the winter here across the Canadian prairie. Here's your forecast then in Saskatoon, Regina, and then we'll finish here in Winnipeg. Your high temperatures again, continuing to be very consistent with those highs, either minus one, or one degree here as we head through the weekend into early next week. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you have a great Friday, a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you again on the other side of your bitterly cold Monday, uh, weekend on Monday. And then we'll talk about the potential for some additional snow as we head into midweek. And then we will reassess where our temperatures are headed toward the end of next week into the weekend.